So far, we've learned how to change bits and pieces of your QGIS interface. You know how to add some elements to the interface. What if you want them to be permanent? What if you want them to happen always when the QGIS user is using that? One way to do this is put all your Python code inside a file called startup.py and put this file in a special place. Whenever QGIS starts, it's look for the file. If it finds the file called startup.py in the special location, it's going to run all the code that's contained inside, apply it before QGIS starts. You can put regular Python code, you can put PyQGIS code, and all of this code will run before QGIS is shown to the user. And this is a really useful way for you to apply your customization. We're going to run a customization which will allow you to display the current version of the QGIS along with the QGIS in the title of QGIS. This is very helpful. For example, I'm running QGIS. I don't know what version of QGIS I'm running. And I have multiple versions. I'll always have to go and check this about QGIS and then only I can find this version number. So what if I can find the version number and always change my title so that version number is always there in my QGIS title. So we'll learn how to do this. First, we need to figure out the Python code that we want to run when to do this. The version number is available in QGIS as a variable. There's a global variable that is set and it's available. You can go and go to the QGIS preferences. There is a variable section here. And the variable section, you can see these are the global variables that are available to us. The QGIS version is saved into this variable named QGIS underscore version. So if we can get the value of this variable, we'll know what version of QGIS we're running and we can then display that in the text. So I'm gonna take this text and show you how we can run this first in QGIS and then we'll put it in a file that we can run it as a permanent code that runs always. So the set changing the title is very simple. We just say, get the value of this QGIS version variable we know how to get the window title. This is what we had done in the first exercise. And we'll say, set the window title to be whatever is the current title plus version. So we're just gonna keep the current title and add the version number to it at the end. And we want to run this when the QGIS starts. When QGIS starts, there is a signal that gets emitted called initialization completed. So we want to say whenever QGIS emits a signal, we want to connect that to customize so that when QGIS starts, it emits a signal and we want to connect to that. For now, I want to just run this without any of this here. So I want to just test if my code works. I'm going to get the current version, get the title and change the title. So you can see right now it says SF-QGIS. To run this, it adds the version number to it, right? That's great. But what happens? I start a new project, again, it goes away because this customization doesn't, it's not sticky. I want it to always remain there. So I can, put this into this a file where this file will be called when QGIS starts. When QGIS emits the signal, it's gonna go and change the signal. Let's see how to do this. So I'm gonna copy this code and I want to put this in a file. So we're gonna create a new file called startup.py and save it first on the desktop and then we'll copy to the location that we want. This is where you need a text editor where you can type some code. I'm gonna open the text editor that I use called TextMate. Again, you can use any text editor. If you don't have a favorite text editor on Windows, Note, Notepad++ is a good text editor. Anything that can just go and create an empty text file. I'm gonna paste the code here and I'm gonna save this file. I'm gonna say save as, and I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna save this file as startup.py. A text editor will allow you to add the file with just the py extension. If you're using Notepad, it's gonna add .txt to it. So make sure you go to the file type. No, don't save it as a text file, save it as all files and make sure the file is called startup.py, not startup.py.txt. If you have a, your other text editor, you can just save it as startup.py. And now we have a file called startup.py. So I'm gonna show this file on my desktop. You can see this is startup.py. So this contains all the customization that I want to run when QJ starts. I will put it in this special place, which will QGIS will read. Where is a special place? In your course material, we have linked to the QGIS documentation, which shows what is the path to that particular place on different operating systems. On Mac OS, this is the path. On Windows, this is the path. On Linux, this is the path. This is inside your user folder. 
there's an easy way to get to this folder without you having to kind of manually type this in. So the easy way to get to this folder is you can go to your settings, user profile, open active profile folder. This is the place where all your user settings are stored and we want to put our startup.py file there. So this is my current profile folder. You can see the default profile. You'll have a default profile folder. We want to go one level above. So you go one level above, which is your QGS3 folder, where there is already a profiles folder. You have a default folder, so you'll be inside this. Go one level up, go another level up, and then you have your QGS3 folder. You want to place your startup.py into this. So I'm going to place my startup.py inside of this folder. It's much easier to just create the file somewhere else and copy it rather than trying to create a file right here. So that's why I suggest you first create a file on desktop and copy it to this QGIS3 folder where you have one profile folder. Next to it, you should have the startup.py. I'm going to turn off QGIS. I'm going to shut it down and start it again and see if my customization worked. So when I start QGS now, it's going to read. First, it'll load all the plugins. It's going to construct that interface. It's going to save the reference to iFace. Once it's done, it says before showing to the user, it's going to call my startup.py. And that's the time it's going to run this. And you can see, as I start my QGS, my title has the version number. And you can put any code here. So if I open the startup.py, this can have any code that you want. Any Python code, you can call an API, you can call a database, you can do whatever you want. And this is a great way to write your Python customizations inside of QGIS. So try this out. I'll explain the steps once again. First, take this text, copy this, open your favorite text editor. So I'm going to open TextMate, paste it into this, save this as a file called start, startup.py. First, save it to desktop. Make sure the file has no .txt extension. It should be just startup.py. Once you've saved it, go and find your QGIS profile folder. Go two levels up and copy this file into this folder that's named QGIS3. Make sure it's inside the QGIS3 folder. This is startup.py. And restart QGIS. A pro tip for QGIS users as well as QGIS developers. If your QGIS is taking a long time to start, this is often people complain that my QGIS takes 30 seconds to start. Can I speed this up? The reason your QGIS might be taking a long time to start is when QGIS starts, it'll go through each plugin that you have and it'll, it'll run the plugin. And if you have 100 plugins installed, it'll go run the 100 plugins and then it'll you know start up. So one tip is if you want to speed up your QGIS start time, you can go to your plugin manager and keep the plugins installed. You don't have to uninstall them. But the plugins you are not actively using, just turn them off. If not using those plugins, you can see I have literally hundreds of plugins. I keep the, all of them off. When I want to use it, I turn them on. The advantage of this is when QGIS starts, it has to load only the stuff that I've enabled, and that is very fast. My QGIS starts in just a few seconds. So if you have a lot of plugins, make sure you turn this off because plugins are initialized on QGIS startup. So this will really help, especially when you're developing plugins, etc. You have to restart QGIS so many times, it will really help you if you can start QGIS faster. Let me go to the QGIS interface class. I'll go and see what are the different signals that QGIS interface class is emitting. One of the signals it's emitting is initialization completed. This is a signal that gets emitted when QGIS is ready and everything is ready to be shown to the user. And this is what we have connected our method to. So when QGIS starts, it loads this, but there's still a problem. Let me go and load this SF project. When we load this project, my customization is gone. I lost that customization title. What happened is QGIS said, I'm loading a new project. It's going to change the title. And then my previous title is gone. So now we're going to do the exercise where you have to make sure that you make this title sticky even when new projects are loaded. 